Though we have maintained and upheld sea lanes and international rules and norms for over half a century, there is no guarantee that this will continue unless we are deliberate in our efforts to do so and make the necessary investments today. That is because we are being challenged by actors who seek to disrupt the world order. It is no secret that the People's Republic of China seeks to append our dominance on the oceans across the globe. The People's Liberation Army Navy has added over 100 combatants to its fleet, a naval buildup that is a key component of its increasingly aggressive military posture globally. Today they have approximately 340 ships and are moving towards a fleet of 440 ships by 2030. What's more, as stated in our national security strategy, the PRC has both the intent to reshape the international order and increasingly the economic, diplomatic, military, and technological power to advance that objective. China's disregard for the rules-based international order is particularly troubling in the maritime domain, from the Taiwan Straits to the high seas. The values espoused by the Chinese Communist Party are incompatible with individual liberty, with democracy, and with respect for human rights. This is about the future of humanity and our planet. We cannot allow the current free and open international system to be overturned. I don't want that for my granddaughters. I don't want it for any Americans or for anybody from any corner of the globe. God forbid we should one day have to say, if only we had done more. We must stand strong in the face of totalitarian regimes today. We must ensure our forces are ready. We must expand and deepen our partnerships and our alliances across the globe and we are certainly not alone in our efforts to maintain the order and stability of our international system. Almost every other nation has as much, if not more, to lose if the current world order were to falter. We need our partners and our allies, just as they need us, and we are all stronger together.